In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to program the iLenser HD1 from the front panel and give a demonstration of it in action. I was having a few issues with the original HD1 that iLenser sent me and they were unable to reproduce these bugs themselves. So I sent the radio back to them and they sent me a new one and I'm pleased to report that it works very well now. In this video, I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you how to program the radio from the front panel as you would get it straight out of the box. So if you want a DMR radio that you can take out and about and program in new repeaters in the field, then keep watching. And if you already have this radio, but don't know how to program it from the front panel, then I urge you to pick up the radio and follow along with this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and please give the video a like. So I'm using this very handy app called Repeater Book to get the details of the repeater up here and I'm going to put that into the radio. So let's start off. Um, it's already in DMR mode but if you wanted to change the mode then you just hold the exit key and it switches to FM mode but anyway let's go back to DMR mode and we're going to put in the frequency receive which is 439165 so 4 439165 and then I am going to go into band A settings which is the settings for the frequency on the top here you can also turn on the one on the bottom with that key there and you can switch to it with that one and then that is band B and so to change anything on there you would use band B settings but at the moment we don't need that on so I'm gonna switch to the other one and then turn that off and go into band A settings and the first thing we're gonna do is set the offset so if we scroll down to where is it shift frequency then it tells us on here the offset is 9 megahertz so I'm going to type in here 0900 0, and then just press confirm and you can see that's 9 megahertz there now and the shift let's just get this up again it's minus 9 megahertz so shift is going to go on minus the color code for this repeater is 3 which it shows on this app as DMR3 Enter. encryption obviously we are not going to use encryption the DMR mode has to be set to repeater because this is a repeater Enter. of course and I'm going to program slot 1 into this channel Enter. Promiscuous mode I'm going to turn on, which allows you to hear any talk group without having to program it in. Gotcha. And the radio ID, I'm just going to select this one first, but then I'm going to go into the other menu and edit it. Gotcha. And finally, the last option we need to change here is contacts. So here is where you would select the contact that you're going to talk on when you hit the push to talk button on this channel but I have not yet set up the contact so we are also going to have to go into there and set the contacts so let's first go to radio ID which is where you set your radio ID you would have to go and apply online for a DMR ID go and have a watch of my DMR IDs video if you want to know more about that um, but if you're an amateur radio operator, then you will be able to get a DMR ID and you'll put it in here. I'm going to put mine in here, but I'm not going to show you guys it just in case someone has the idea to copy my ID and start transmitting with it. Okay, so I've put my ID in and I'm going to change the name of it to amateur. So that's saved there now. And then I am going to go into the contacts menu and I'm going to set some of the contacts that I might want to use. So this is in there by default, but we don't really need this talk group. 
So um, I'm actually just going to get rid of the one and then this is 234, the UK wide talk group. So that's quite handy that that's there already. And then I'm going to change the name to UK wide. And I just realized that I made a little mistake there. Um, it's actually 235, not 234. So there we go, let's change that to 235. And let's program in the next one, let's program talk group 80, which is one of the user activated talk groups. And we'll set that to a group call and change the name just to 80. In the next one I'm going to program in group 81 so let's go down here again 81 and it's a group call and we change the name to 81. So I've programmed in the groups that I might need and I've also programmed in my radio ID. So I'm about ready to make a contact now. Okay, so I've just moved into a slightly different location where I can access this repeater better from. And I've also set the time on the radio, which I did off camera. But if you want to do that, then it's in this menu right here, time. And so you can just set it from here. So I need to set the contact that I'm going to be talking on. So I go into band A settings and I'm going to scroll to contacts and the group is on UK wide. So I'm going to click confirm and save and it selects that group. So now if I try to transmit onto this repeater, it should work. So let's give it a try. Okay, so I just tried it and it didn't work. And I realized that the thing that I did wrong was in the shift frequency I put in 090, or was it two zeros like that? But I didn't finish it off. So you have to put in 09000 until it finishes it off for you and then it should work. So let's give it a try again. This is M6NVQ, just testing out a new radio. If anybody is hearing me, could you please give me, um, well, call back to let me know that I'm getting in. Okay, so we've seen that that channel is working very well and the radio is working absolutely fine on this channel that I just programmed in on the keypad. So now I'm going to save it into a channel so we can access it on channel mode. So if I go into the main settings, go down to save channel and let's just save it in channel one. So click confirm. Save channel name, it's going to be G, going to be slot, slot, one. So I'm going to save that there. And now we're in frequency mode. If we hit exit, we go to channel mode and it shows that channel that I just programmed. And um, that should have been GB7NS. Never mind, I'll have to edit that later on. Okay, so let's say we also want to program in an analog repeater. I'm going to program in my local club's repeater and I'm just getting up repeater book again to give us the details. So here it is, this is my local repeater, GB3HR and it's on 433.35. So let's go and change this to analog mode first by holding 
the exit button and see it's changed down there to FM and I'm going to type in 433350 there we go and then I'm going to go to band A settings change the shift frequency and we can check in here that the frequency is 1.6 megahertz and it's a positive shift so 0 1 6 0 0 and the shift is going to be plus and all these settings here color code encryption DMR mode DMR slot promiscuous radio ID and contacts and all that are not going to be in use for this channel because it's an analog channel but we are going to need to change the code the CTCSS which uh, is 82.5 for this repeater so if I confirm that then it should set both the receive and transmit to the same one if you want to set only the receive or only the transmit CTCSS then you can go to the R or T ones to set them. I think this repeater is also in narrow so I'm gonna select narrow which is the 12.5 kilohertz channels and I am gonna move to a slightly different location again with the camera because there's a slightly different location where I get a good signal into this repeater. This is M6 NVQ listening for an audio check and a radio check please. So in this video I've shown you how to program the HD1 from the front panel. If you want to know how to program it from the computer, then I also have a detailed guide on doing that. So go and have a look at that video, which I'll leave a link to in the card, which should be in the top right corner. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and see you all in the next video.